No, we, we should talk more. Yeah, yeah. So how's it been going? Uh, everything's good, man. You know, just uh, uh, been playing a lot, a lot of gigs, and got this new album out. And really excited about it. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Uh, I was excited too because uh, you know you, you seem to you seem to be pretty uh, optimistic when it comes to making new uh, content. You know, all the time. So when I found out that you yeah. were doing a new album, I, I was like, well, we gotta we gotta chat again because you know it's been a couple of years, at least at least two years. Yeah, I'd say I know. About. So yeah, at least I think two years. And you know the pandemic has come, and I don't know if it's really gone or yeah. whatever. But it's it it. But you know people are doing normal things, so I figure well. And yet we still haven't met, and you still haven't, you know, been to the area, my area yet, you know, uh, right. you know, like we talked about last time. But you know that that can just be, you know, any any type of booking, I suppose, and and whatnot. Because trust me, if if I knew that right. you were if you were coming to my area, I would definitely show up for to you know, to to see your show and all that, and see you perform. Yeah, I'd love to be out there, in Minnesota. That'd be great. Yeah, because you you said it was like your your kind of your stopping grounds were Michigan or. Or Midwest, you know yeah. the Midwest anyway, so I remember I remember that from the, the last conversation, but uh, yeah, now I've you're been, out. Been, yeah, go, go ahead. Oh yeah, I've been I've been back to Michigan, but I haven't been out to Minnesota yet. So yeah, you just that happen. You just pass by us all the time, <laughs> <laughs> especially now since it's winter time and you're you're in beautiful sunny California or, or wherever you're at, and uh, you know right. it, it, you don't have to deal with the the shitty. Uh, the snow that we have no. right now. <laughs> no, it's, it's beautiful sunshine every day. Yeah. I got my uh, I got my Red Wings on though. Oh yeah, sure, my... yeah, big hockey fan. I'm I, I'm sure. I I, oh, yeah. I you know I I don't really do follow hockey much. I don't follow, follow a whole lot of pro sports. I mean I I I've gotten into football a little bit, but I still don't understand it. I'm still confused by <laughs> what they the language they speak. You know, on commentary. Right. <laughs> but no that's why I. That's why I stick with music and stuff. It's something I, yeah. I actually can understand because I, I can understand Absolutely. the language of that. And, and and you and you obviously have because you 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 grew up with it. It's been in your life pretty much forever. And and, and now you're you're on your third album, Touch and Go. Yeah, hard to believe, huh? Yes, <laughs> I know. I can't believe it either, honestly. <laughs> so let's let let's let's talk about the album. Let's talk about you know like what what made you decide to say, well, it's time to do some another one now. Yeah, you know, I've been uh, I've been writing some of these songs I had in my back pocket, you know, especially the covers were songs that I've always wanted to cover. Um, but I really got into writing these past couple of years about a few different things. And, uh, you know, I got motivated to do this record. I had actually uh, uh, it had in the works um, a duo album with my friend Vincent, which is uh, is probably going to be the next project that we put out, you know. Sure. Uh but uh yeah we um uh we got to, we got started on this uh early this year um and uh man i'm just happy with how it came out you know it just it, the the way dave dave irish shout out to dave irish he recorded uh so great on this and uh you know i had a b- bunch of great musicians on this too and couldn't have done it without them you know and I haven't even had a chance to hear it yet. I know you sent me a CD and all that. Yeah, I, I was hoping it was on Spotify. What happened to all that? You yeah, the... that was a a business decision, <laughs> as they say. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Spotify. You know, um, nothing but respect, but um, money wise, I was getting screwed over with Spotify. Oh, and, sure. uh, it wasn't anything political or anything. It just was a, a business decision, I guess one would say. You know. Well, I mean, uh, I, I get it. I mean, because I, I guess a lot of people, you know, feel the same way. But you're an independent yeah. artist, so I can understand. If you were a major, major, right. well-known person, I'd be like, well, d- t- you know, that doesn't make any sense. You should be, yeah, you should be fine. Like, hey, you know, or something, then it doesn't matter. You know, or 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 your stepdad, you know, Kim. Right. You know, I mean, he's had a lot of success. So I mean, you know. I mean, I, I get it. What's yours is yours, you know, and whatnot. Yeah. But when you pull, blow it up on the internet, it's like, well, now it's out there now. So, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Spotify should do a lot better. They just should try. I mean, I don't understand why they, you know, are, are, are how know, they are. You it's know, a mystery sometimes. Of the world, you know what I mean? It's it's a uh, it's a mystery to me, but you know. It is um, what iTunes, it is. <laughs> and, yeah, iTunes and Amazon, though, they to their credit, um, you know, if you buy my album on there then I get most of the money from that. And, and, uh, 
you know, I, I, I don't mind funneling the plays that way. I mean, you can still listen to it for free on YouTube. And uh, so, you know, there's that too. So I did, I did see that it was on YouTube right after I, I talked to you about sending me a CD because the only reason why I had you send me a CD is because I haven't heard it. I haven't, I mean, I can buy right. a CD too. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah, but well, like, no, you I, know, uh, to be the CD is en route as we speak. Okay. So, well, I, I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. Yeah. But but after you but after we had that discussion, then I found that you that you put your stuff on your your own YouTube channel or somebody did it for oh, yeah, you. Yeah, or, yeah. I had no idea because yeah, again, I and then I never got a chance to hear it. So beforehand, I've had a chance yeah. to hear you a little bit to to see what you sound like and and I always told you and and I don't know if you got this from other people or not, but to me, you still sound like a, a Richie Valens, you know, like a modern day Richie Valens. Yeah. You know, I appreciate that. Has, yeah. has anybody ever told you that at all? Has anybody else I, like picked that up at all? Or I've gotten that a couple of times. I've gotten him, and uh, uh, I've gotten John Lennon as of late too. As my oh, second. So, sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, so you know, uh, that's pretty cool. A couple of rock guys, you know, rock and roll. And well, I get Richie, the Richie Valens for sure because I mean, I know you're not a Latin artist by any means, but <laughs> you right. know, but the thing about it, it's just it's just the way you you decided to make yourself sound. And maybe that was by accident. Yeah. I don't know, you know, but that's what I get. And that was the first a thing that got me into you. A lot that I do is by accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you're trying to be your modern day blues singer, I mean, you 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 got that. But it just to me, all your songs sound like a modern day Richie Valens. So I don't, you know, yeah. and that's not a bad yeah. thing. That's that's a good that's, thing. That's a compliment for sure. You know, yeah. I'm sure Richie himself would probably hear if he was still alive would probably say, "Yeah, you kind of sound like me a little bit." You know. No, yeah, and that, that's he was a talented guy, man. So I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what 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 uh, what. Kim thinks about that. I mean, I'm sure he probably looks at you in a different light. I um, mean, what does he say about about your style, or, or you know, since um, he's... Kim? Uh, Kim said my singing was uh, resemblant of uh, Cal Green. I don't know if you know who he is. I but uh, I have Cal heard Green, this name before. I don't know. He's a guitar player. Um, he used to play with uh, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Okay, uh, they did. The, they were the. They were. They did the twist. They were the first uh, band to do the twist. Oh, okay. Was it? Was uh, he kind of a? Was he kind of like a country guy too? It sounds like a country guy named um, he was a blues, guy. He's a blues, blues guy. guy. Okay, yeah. okay. But uh, yeah, when you get some time, look him up. Uh, he's on Spotify, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> too, probably. And, uh, <laughs> great guitar player, and I like his singing too. So you know, listen to his singing and see if you can hear some of me in there. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's a yeah. good challenge because hey, when you're you know when you sound like other people that you nobody would expect, you know, I mean, obviously you're trying to be your, yourself. You're trying to be original, right? You know, you're not trying to sound like anybody, but sometimes people just have that that knack, you know, when they're just able to be like, hey, you know, he kind of sounds like this guy. No, he sounds like that guy. Right, right, right. Like, wow, it's like a com combination. And and I yeah. suppose, you know, as you get older, your your pitch and your range and your sound, you know, changes over time. But but the last three albums have been kind of, well, I, like I said, I haven't heard the third one, but I'm sure the third one sounds almost similar to your last one. And the last one was really, really great. And, you know, I... Yeah, I yeah, mean, no, this one I will say this one is a way different uh tone uh recording wise. Um, okay. and in my opinion, a much better one. Um and part mostly due to me stepping it up, you know. And um I definitely think that this is my best album yet. Thank goodness, you know. You don't want just, the most recent one to not be, you know what I mean? Not not <laughs> just not not just because you're you're kinda paying tribute to your father, you know, right. with the cover. I think that I think that was a huge thing, you know. Greg, uh, Greg is on the album too, which is uh, crazy. We got we got to do that, um, uh, courtesy of Roger Bartlett. Shout out to Roger. Also, oh, so he's still alive. See, I thought he was dead. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were paying tribute. Greg is still with us. Okay, um, but he, this recording is from roughly ten years ago. Actually, the recording. Uh, oh, maybe maybe a little less, but um, it was his last recording that he ever did. Last session he ever did. So okay. Uh, I was able to to uh, take that off of that song and put it onto my song. Oh. Um, so I just changed my song to go with with his rhythm. So oh, yeah. yeah. So that was good. Well, that's, that's yeah. kind of that's kind of nice. I mean, did you guys you, know, you guys talk about it beforehand and all that? I mean, you know, I'm sure you didn't just go up up and take his song and then you know without letting him know and uh. give him some credit, you know. Or how's that yeah, work no, in the music business now? <laughs> right, it was uh, it was uh, Rogers' song, um, but Greg Greg has Alzheimer's, 
Sharks. Um, so he, oh. he, uh, you know, since uh, 2013, 2012, he's been battling that, you know? Oh. So okay. it's not really a, a thing where I can go discuss with him. <laughs> oh, say. okay. Um, I get you. But uh, Roger was kind enough to let me uh, have the rights to uh, his, his, uh, his song, if you will. Well, because I, I don't know how that works anymore. Like, you know, when people do covers and stuff, you're like, like, yeah. I would figure you'd have to get permission from people. But, uh, you know, sometimes like Weird Al, you know, he kind of, you know, he said, he claims that he's asked everybody that, you know, he, he parodied, but. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, like Michael Jackson and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you don't want to get yourself in trouble. But, of course, if you're a fan of that, <laughs> that, that style of music and all that, it shouldn't really, you know, to me, I, I don't think it should matter. But I guess if you're making money off of it, I guess you know, I, that's why I stay out of the music business as far as the the technical stuff. I just like to promote it, like to play hey, it, yeah. like to you know I, listen to believe it. Believe me, musicians appreciate people like you because you know it helps us get the word out, and you know people that would never even have heard of us and will hear the music. You know, well, that's all thanks. That's all thanks to the good old internet. You know, because I, mean, I you know I'm surprised at all the people I've gotten the chance to talk to over the course of time and all that. This year has been kind of I haven't done as much as I normally do. I mean, like 10 years ago, I was like, you know, like I was like on crack when it comes to like doing interviews and stuff. I was like one after another, you know, it was just, right. it was just fun. But then I got kind of wore out because it's just like, you know, this is all volunteer on, on me. I'm not making any money doing any of this stuff. I don't work for a big company. This is just all right. me trying to, you know, invite people like you to say, hey, let's, you know, I don't know how much I, help I can be, but, let, you know, if you have the time, let's, let's chat, you know. I, I'm not and a big help, wig, but help yeah. yeah. But you know, most people would, would figure that people only want to talk to the big wigs. You know, the the people that can really promote the people and not care about and, the little uh, guy. You know, that's kind of. I, 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 it's all the same to me. <laughs> that's why I would try to get get your dad on the show, but he won't do it. So it's like, you know, <laughs> I'm not a well known <laughs> name a, or whatever. You know? <laughs> he's, a, he's a tougher. He's a tougher fish to catch. As <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay you know i i'm fine with that you know i i don't i still love his music and i always will so it doesn't it's nothing i take personal a lot of people have said no to me but i don't take it personal yeah. you know? no I never Maybe. take it personally no never take it personally. i mean i probably did it in my in my early oh. beginnings when i first started because it was just like you know i didn't know what the hell i was doing you know but right. now i've been doing this for quite a while and you know since 2006 oh, and so it's yeah. like whatever but right. yeah, I, I, you know, I really like the fact that you you kept your like the, the album cover itself, you know, being a, a yeah. tribute to 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 your dad and, and all that. How you got the style to it pretty much matches the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, I like that old like, '80s I, style or '70s style. You know? uh, yeah, I owe that to um, this app called Canva. Um, I was able, you know, I just sat in my room one night, hours on end, just trying to match it as close as I could. I didn't want to match it exact because I was like, oh, that'd be kind of you know, still have a little bit of my own take on it. Sure. Um, but uh, yeah, it turned out good, I thought, you know, and that's a great album too, Harpoon Man. Um, if, if anybody listening hasn't listened to that yet, go give it give it a listen. I, tr I tried to find it on, on the internet and stuff and I couldn't find it at all. It's like, did it ever come out on digital at all? Or yeah. CD? Or was it's, it all uh, just on record? <laughs> it's rare. It's on CD. And you, it, it'll cost you like 50 bucks, I'm sure, to get it on CD. Oh, yeah. just because it's rare. <laughs> it's rare. It's rare. <laughs> and, and it's good. But uh, it is on uh, YouTube, I believe. I believe the full album's on YouTube. Um, oh. YouTube's a secret, man. You know, okay, you I'll, I'll have to double check it. I have to double check again because uh, you know yeah. I'm trying to find it just to listen to it. I'm just like, well, it's not on Spotify. A couple things <laughs> that he did was on Spotify, but not much, not a whole yeah. lot. But I, yeah, I but yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, you know, he was he released all his albums right before the digital age took over. You know. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I mean, hey, vinyls kind of come back. Have you 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 did some uh, vinyl pressing before on some I of your stuff? Have, I do have vinyl for my second album. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And how'd that do I did for have you? Vinyl. I, I sold out of the vinyl for my first album. Huh? Um, yeah. Which is good. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. I still have some available for my second one. Yeah. Okay. You know, because it's the way I look at it, you know, now that I've, uh, you know, now this is our third time chatting and everything, and and, yeah. and and the fact that, you know, when you first started, 
your album, your what was it? Move it on. Is that move it on? Yeah, move it on. Okay, that 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 to me seemed like the start of something something very excellent as far as your in your young career because you you got that and then and between the number one and number three they all look like they could be like in chronological order but then right. you take number two. And the album is like the cover is way different. It makes it seem like you're like doing like a sci-fi album or something oh, like that, or yeah, or yeah, some yeah, type yeah, of synthwave album or something. Too. <laughs> totally different, correct? But yeah, um, you know, like you said, the sound was generally. Oh yeah, it idea. sounds the same. But I mean, yeah. it's just like it's just like blows me away how it's like so totally different compared to and now, and what now, you're going. Now I come out with this multicolored thing. <laughs> that pops out at you. So I'm just gonna keep guessing, you know. No, that, that, that's great because, you know, I like a good album cover. You know, like I, I care about the packaging. I mean, I care about everything, but I but if somebody right. puts in the effort to, to do a good packaging, it's kind of like buying a Blu-ray Blu disc or 4K movie or DVD. If the packaging looks right. great, so then it looks like people actually gave a shit about what they're putting together. No, I, not. I've had many times when I bought cheap stuff and it's just like, what the hell is this? You know, you know, and it still was fine, but it's just like the packaging is like really cheap and it's just like, why would you put that together and sell it to anybody? You know, Absolutely. And, yeah. So that that's how I that's how I feel. I don't know. Maybe I, I guess if it was a demo or something like that, it's a little different because demos can be just about anything nowadays when it comes to that. Right, yeah. But so like so a of a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so so everything's been going good though, music wise, and oh, you've yeah. been doing pretty good and you know, living yeah. the American dream in California and all that. And I know you have <laughs> a girlfriend right. now and or oh, you've had a girlfriend yeah. for a while now and Man, it's yeah. just simply everything's just happening for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, no, it's uh it is truly uh truly a dream. I mean, I've been playing a lot of gigs this year and leaving the leaving the state too and um uh you know, played in the south, played in the Pacific Northwest, you know, and uh pretty pretty blessed, honestly, you know, just playing a lot and, and uh, it's been a great year. Probably the best year for music, huh? you know. Yeah. The COVID COVID messed me up, man, slowed me <laughs> down, but <laughs> we're, we're, finally, we're getting back to it. You're just lucky that you're a young guy that you have, you know, I mean, we all don't know how long we have, but, you know, for, I mean, if you're young, right. I mean, you, you, you kind of pursue, you know, say, well, I got some time. So the COVID thing uh -huh. happened and it's still probably going on, but it's like, you know, now you can, you know, you can go out and tour, you can go out and do whatever you want. Yeah. And it's not like it really, you don't have to think about it anymore. You know, yeah, only yeah. when the news media wants to put it in our face. <laughs> Right, you know, right, right. <laughs> like anything else. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm really, I'm really glad that everything's been working out for you because you know, I was kind of wondering, you know, like some people just after a while they just give it up, and if they're not making their goals and stuff and doing what they need to do, and uh, I'm glad yeah. that you, I'm glad that you haven't given it up. You know, I'm glad that you're, you no, know, that I mean, you're sticking uh, with it. No, if I, I mean, if I had given up, I, you know, I wouldn't have had these. I mean, I had gotten some amazing gigs off of these albums and. And people listening to my music, sharing it, you know, playing in Key West last year and oh, wow. uh, the Missis Mississippi, Louisiana tour this sure. year, you know, Oregon. Like, this things wouldn't happen if I wasn't, if I just would have stopped, you know. Now, where in Oregon, you said you play, where in Oregon did you play? Uh, I've been, I've been there before. Portland, Portland? Um, Portland, Eugene, uh, Springfield. Did you ever go to Astoria at all? Where was it? Astoria. No, I that's, sort of, that's where the Goonies were filmed. Did you ever watch oh, the Goonie wow. movie at all, or Kindergarten yeah, Cop, or anything that's, like that? That's some uh, beautiful scenery. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. It, well, it still looks like it, it was 1985 over there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it has a modern modern day twist now to it. Things have changed a little bit. Like the the right. jail the jail is actually the Oregon Film Museum is one yeah. of the locations. And they have all the awesome. old, old stuff from the film. So I, I just figure if you're going to go over there, you might as well, because they got little clubs and stuff over there. They got little little bars and whatever, you know. It doesn't have to be right. anything really fancy or whatever, but, you yeah, know, it's just a small town. Places for me to fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're into all that stuff, I mean, you're you're in the West Coast. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't blame you. The Columbia yeah. River and everything. So, yeah, I've been over there a, a couple times. I was there in 2008 and 2012 and, I would like to go back, but oh, out here in Cali or Oregon? Uh, in, in Oregon, I, I went down there just on a whim. You know, I I always wanted to do like it was my lifetime goal. Like everybody always has places where they want to go, you know, for yeah. for vacation or whatever. And at that time, I've always just wanted to go to Astoria, Oregon, because it, it, you know, compared to the town that I live in, it's you know, there's there's something more interesting about that town. 
because of the movie right history on. and all that. And and I went down there twice and had a great time both times. Still, probably didn't see everything I wanted to see, you know, because of time and everything. But it was still worth it. It was so well worth it. And I would do it again oh, in yeah. a heartbeat. I've got other places awesome. too, and I live in South Dakota and all that as well. But oh, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I think that's kind of where we first met. I think I was still in South Dakota at the time, possibly yeah. in 2018. I think after, you were headed up. Yeah, you were yeah or, or I was, or I just was, got, got back from living there or whatnot. So I used to work in television too. So that was yeah, a local you... Fox affiliate. So, but yeah, I mean, other, other than that, I mean, everything's kind of the same for me. I just, uh, you know, now currently my, my daytime job's at Walmart. <laughs> I work oh, at Walmart. <laughs> I love Walmart. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wish I was just a customer instead of an employee, but you know that's that's a, that's that's on a, that's on another note. But whatever, you know, I don't want I don't want to drink that now. They'll all get fired for saying. <laughs> well, uh, I I I'll tell you what, it looks like I got to run. Can we continue this or? Uh, we can. Right? Or, I mean, it, it don't it don't matter. I mean, I think I got what I really needed for for now. I mean, as okay. far as it goes. But I appreciate you taking the time, Mr. Stephen, Mr. Stephen Taylor. No you know? worries. Yeah. I appreciate it. Great to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, my man. All good right. to see you, my man. Have a good one. Bye. See you later.